Living in Utrecht is really nice because it's quite uh, young and dynamic because it's a student city and because they offer a lot of international programs at the university, it's quite uh, international. Well, being a law student, I've studied a lot about policies and the ways that you can fight against crime, but I was always missing something, which is actually to understand why people commit crimes. That's also why I choose to do this master in Utrecht, because it's a multidisciplinary master, whereas you're coming across with sociology, anthropology, psychology. So it's a great opportunity to create a more complete image about crime. Well, the kind of criminology we do here is special. This is a critical criminology with a lot of emphasis in cultural criminology, meaning that we look at crime and crime control as a cultural phenomenon. And we specialize in particular topics where we are very strong here, like transnational organized crime, corporate crime, so crimes across border criminality, and global issues. We learn how crime occurs in a specific cultural context and how th this context also uh, influences the reactions to certain crimes. For example, the way uh, we looked at police and people with power. For example, people that are coming from more corrupted states, they are very critical. Whereas people that are coming from welfare states, they are really reluctant to kick against the power and the state. So having the opportunity to discuss these issues with international students is it giving a different touch to the whole field. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what I like also is that the teachers always talk about their own personal experience and their own personal research they've done, so this is quite exciting. I also have had the opportunity to participate in uh, current researches, like for example what we're doing now on prostitution in the Netherlands, and it gives me the opportunity to do field work with the, with the staff and see how they work and learn from them. I think it's very important that our students learn from our own experience, not only from books, not only from theories, not only from lectures, but also from our rich experience doing research. It's very difficult research questions like, is human trafficking possible in the legalized prostitution in the Netherlands? How do they bring these women to Amsterdam, to the red light district? And you can do it only when you go to the places where these women are. And we take these students with us in order to teach them uh, how to ask questions, how to do interviews, how to make observations. Very important. We push students to go there and get the data from themselves, either by interviewing people or by participating with them. And the thesis we like to see here are based on empirical research. Well, to be honest, I was very surprised uh, by the willingness of the staff to help and by their motivation and enthusiasm, which was something I didn't really experience before. Yes. I work for, for Eurojust. What we do is uh, we try to, to help countries to work together when there are international cases. The master was definitely very useful because I was able to have a broad view of criminological theories. But what I like was also the fact of being in a multicultural environment as the master was. It gave me the opportunity to open my mind and it gave me also the opportunity to work in teams with people of different countries and it's something that you meet every day more. Our teachers were able to, to give us the, the passion to do something because you see that they like their job, they really love their job, and, you, and it's important because they were able to transmit this thing also to the students. So I will be very glad if our students are able to think critically about crime and crime control, to go beyond definitions and ideas that we get from media, from law and from law enforcement agencies, and to really think critically about all these definitions about crime and criminals.